Hello guys! It is quite late in Ukraine, almost night, so I've decided to tell you a beautiful story for this good night sleep. And this is a story about what happened yesterday in Russian Federation. A flock, can I say that way? A flock of good Ukrainian drones decided to have a night sky walk to Russian Federation and there were explosions in Kursk and Taganrog. You know that Ukrainian drones are brave and just and they only target legitimate military objects. And in Taganrog, this was indeed a very important, I'd say a beautifully chosen target. This is a factory on which A-50 Ali Command and Control aircraft were developed and now can be repaired. And potentially, there was one A-50 waiting for the repairment next to this plant and it was repaired the Ukrainian way. These are very expensive, very rare and very evil aircraft that are used to patrol about Ukraine and collect information about our aircraft, our air defense systems and even control Russian jets during attacks on Ukrainian territories. So the more of them we destroy, maybe four already, the better. Let me tell you more about this really beautiful night adventure of Ukrainian drones to Russian Federation. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So, a beautiful reminder how Ukrainian air forces actually evolve and another proof that we are very, very ambitious, especially when we are talking about the destruction of Russian military targets. So, during this year, we've destroyed a lot of Russian aircraft and sometimes I even had a feeling you're tired from these updates. Among these aircraft, there were three super rare and super expensive A-50s that are also known as Ali Command and Control Aircraft or Beriev. They are technological, they collect information, they control Russian bombers, they are huge and they cost a lot. Each plane can cost 350 or even 500 million dollars. So imagine losing three of these aircraft February 2023, January 2024 and February 2024. Russia has already lost a billion dollars. But uh, they don't have many of them. And uh, after this last destruction of it in February, on the 26th of February, if I'm not mistaken, there were no Russian A-50s in Ukrainian skies, just as it should be. They were afraid to send this aircraft and crew to patrol Ukrainian skies. And they started looking for leftovers of these A-50s and on Russian news they were talking about the reconstruction of some in Taganrog. Well, we've heard the news, we've decided to check with our drones. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel to demonstrate your solidarity and to witness our victory together. So these beautiful Ukrainian drones traveled to Taganrog to check and very likely they've neutralized A-50 that was waiting for the repairment on the airfield next to the factory. But also there were many explosions uh, that might have led to the destructions of some buildings on the factory thus making it impossible to repair, reconstruct or do anything else with the A-50s that Russia still had. We know that many of Russian ammunition, weapons, machines, they are in really bad condition and perhaps they were trying to collect all of these A-50s. Russia did not have, like they had less than 10 of them. So you can imagine losing four means a lot and not having a potential to repair is even better. Moreover, this plant in Taganrog was actually a plant on which A-50 was developed. They share the name. The aircraft is also known as Beriev and this is the name of the plant, perhaps named after the constructor, inventor and so on. 
Anyway, this is huge, this is super expensive, but most importantly, this makes Ukrainian skies and Ukrainian uh, front lines safer because these planes are bad. They are um, commander points flying above the skies and providing lots of other evil Russian uh, jets with the information they need. But this way, without A-50s, Russian bombers are very vulnerable. And it is true that among Russian pilots, there is already phobia to fly above Ukraine. I hope there will be more and more phobias um, among Russian army. Um, Russian Navy, like no Black Sea Navy anymore in the Black Sea and you will not find enthusiastic uh, um, sailors, do you call people in the Navy sailors, perhaps something different, Marines, you will not find uh, the ones who are eager to travel closer to the Ukrainian shores and the same about the skies which is again a beautiful reminder to all those who doubt or are still afraid of Russia, we don't have to. Bullies have to be stopped, have to be punished, and that's the only way they understand their rules and law. So from what we see, Kursk, which is close to the border with Ukraine, is the city that hears lots of explosions. They've got lots of military objects on the territory because these are the cities from which lots of Russian army travels to Ukraine, gets supply to Ukraine, where they store lots of weapons. And I actually think that many of these territories close to the border with Ukraine, legitimate 1991 border with Ukraine, are getting more and more empty. And maybe this will be a buffering zone. I know Putin was talking about Ukraine as a buffering zone, but it looks like more and more of Russian regions, Rostov, Belgorod, um, <clears throat> and so on, are becoming this buffering zone. What is worse when we have problems and explosions in Ukraine, our government tells us the truth and we see the truth. We and uh, know uh, what can we do, what we cannot do, but it's always very open. And in Russia, they always pretend it was someone smoking, I don't know, these were just loud sounds, or this is a technological issue, or something else. It is never uh, Ukrainian attacks, or if it's Ukrainian attacks, they are stopped, and the plants and oil depots are just on fire. It's a coincidence. And I think it's so silly and uh, primitive and uh, Russia chooses this kind of BS, um, not mobilizing their people, not giving them real information and Russians accept that. So they are indeed very different uh, from us. I hope there will be more stories about flocks of Ukrainian drones traveling to more of Russian military objects to watch some fireworks. Remember to subscribe if you want to get more updates from Ukraine during these challenging times. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and helping me develop just like Ukrainian armed forces. Remember to join me on Instagram, X, Threads and Discord. And we have a beautiful merch shop. All the links that you need are in the description of this video. But most importantly, united we stand. Slava Ukraini!